Spreaker. There it is. Hey, Spreaker, how you doing? It is Pastor Rick. Uh, give me a minute. There you go. Welcome, friends. Coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. That's right. I am here, friends. All right, Spreaker, Channel One, give me a minute. We are going to go live on our Restream TV. Uh, let's get going. Let's get to it. I say let's go. Amen. Give me a minute here, friends. We've got a countdown clock. I think we're about ready to go live. we got our Twitch TV friends with us tonight. So bear with me. Let me... Uh, oops. And I'm having issues with the channels here. All right. I'm live, friends. You're live. Pastor Rick, we're one live ministry podcast network. How you doing? Uh, on a Monday, a little bit late start, but uh, again, it took me... About 15 minutes to get everything set up uh, as usual. Amen. Let me get the volume uh, logged out here. Uh, wow. It, <laughs> you know, it's always an adventure here. You just never know, friends. Uh, amen. So let me get all the monitors pulled up here um, as I am... Uh, watching the channels here. All right. Hold your thoughts. Hold your comments. Let's see. I want to make sure everything is dialed in, queued up, dialed in for this Monday night podcast. I uh, had to move over to the mo or to the uh, tablet to go live on our Anchor Cast Box channel. So let me get channel three together here. Amen. Monday night, the 14th already, friends. Could you believe that? Wow. In the middle of the month already. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm just shocked. It's just moving so quick and so fast here that, uh, you know, it's just kind of one of them things where you got to settle in and hold on, right? Amen. All right, friends, give me a minute here. Let me dial up a couple more channels. It is the 14th, Monday, uh, November 14th again. Um, our first service. I've already been on the other channels already, updating everything. Um, as usual, you know, not that's nothing uh, usual here. I, I decided to go ahead and just step it up and uh, get, uh, you know, get these channels going here. So, uh, amen. All right, so let me get to a couple of channels, update uh, update here, and uh, let's see, we got to do something here on channel one. So, uh, amen. So yeah, our first service already, blasting through the day, uh, amen, didn't want to miss the opportunity to get on here and uh, give you guys another Bible study. We're going to kind of continue our... Uh, communion, Holy Communion, uh, you know, of the uh, scriptures from that. So, um, <laughs> get ready, friends. Uh, Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters for your highlighters. And let's get to it as I'm just uh, trying to maneuver here. Amen. Then we're going to go ahead and just pray it in real quick and uh, get moving. Amen. All right, um, let's see, what do I got here? Something, um, oh yeah, I forgot. I had StreamYard pulled up because uh, I was resetting our our messages and dates and stuff. And uh, let's see, what do I got? Restream, I got one restream. What? Uh, amen. I have two restream channels pulled up, so I don't know why that happened, but... Uh, amen. I hope we're still live. There it is. Got to pull that window up so I can see it. A uh, lot to do. A lot to set up. There it is. Live on Restream. Uh, good to see you guys. I always appreciate you being so patient here with me. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and 
Amen. All right, Tin Can, you guys are on the air, and let's get to our, there it is, Anchor Cast Box. Ah, tell you, friends, it is a lot. Um, All right, so I think we're ready to go. Everything's working, and uh, we are here. It is uh, Monday night. Uh, 10.30, well, uh, a little after 10.30, almost 11 now, but uh, had, like I said, took me about 15, 20 minutes to kind of get our, uh, get everything going here. Um, <laughs> hey, man. Well, let's pull up the monitors. We are live on Twitch TV right now, uh, doing our Monday night service. Hey, Amen. All right. Uh so, yeah, I just try to stay on track as best I can. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sunday, which, you know, how that happened, what happened there, that didn't work out, but I, I ended up going on last night. So, trying to stay consistent. I appreciate you guys following and subscribing on all the channels. Got another one, uh, another brother uh, or sister uh, last night uh, on the YouTube channel, so I appreciate you guys following me there. Uh, and of course, on all the channels worldwide, what a blessing. Thank you guys again. Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network here, friends, for uh, Monday. <laughs> well, said Monday night again. Well, I got the uh, coffee situation taken care of. Uh, you know, I thought I had it cleaned out, but I uh, had a little visitor uh, <laughs> and stuck his face clear in the cup. And, uh, well, I got that situated, taken care of, and I have got fresh cup of coffee uh, that I uh, have brewed and got it set. So, hey, man, friends, Twitch TV, hold your thoughts right now, friends, if you can. Behave yourself, kids. You're in church. Let's get to it. Doors are open. Uh, bring your Bibles, your cups of coffee, and your pens and paper and notebook tablets, friends. We are going to go and open up. With, as I get my uh, notes together here, uh, we're going to look at, um, what are we going to look at? Matthew 23 is going to be our opening. Now, let's get uh, 20, <laughs> 20, let's get our channel over here. We got channel three I got to get set up. Hang on, friends. All right, going live. There it is, channel three. Amen. Hang on. All right. So that did work out. So hang on. All right. Forgot to block out the volume of level on that one. So going to hear a little bit of a feedback for that. Uh, it's all right, though. Amen. Do it that. Uh, let's do that restart again. <laughs> Amen. There it is. All right. Restart number two on channel three. Ah, uh, let's start, friends. Let's just go uh and see what we can do here for church service Monday night. Yeah, I know. I'm here. Don't adjust your TV sets, friends. Let's get to it. Lots to do, lots to set up, and lots to uh, get going here. So let's get to it, friends. Welcome. Come on in. Heavenly Father, oh, I thank you again for another day. I thank you for um, just for everything that you have done and continue to do uh, as you have made a way, made a path, and directed me to that path uh, and kept me on that path. I thank you for your uh, guidance, your protection. Uh, you know, and I know that your hand is on this ministry, uh, and as well as the equipment, the Wi-Fi, the studio here. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you for uh, keeping me in direction here. Uh, Father God, I want to pray for family, friends, uh, everybody connected, everybody watching, hearing these broadcasts, these podcasts. Lift them up and encourage them, Father God. I know uh, you know, we're as we are in the end days, we are in the last times, the last days. Uh, we need you more than ever, Father God, and we lean on you and we trust in you and we're holding on to you uh, because we know the devil is trying to pry our hands off that cross. Not going to let it happen. We're going to follow you and 
keep uh, moving forward and pressing in. So thank you. Thank you for everything that you continue to provide and uh, continue to, uh, you know, as you've provided always. So thank you for that. Thank you for uh, just everything. Uh, Father God, I uh, just uh, appreciate the calling, appreciate the mission. And as I keep digging in here and digging in and pressing in, I thank you. Uh, I give it all over to you. Uh, drop the net, pick up the cross, and keep following you. No matter what. Uh, so thank you for that. In Jesus' precious name, I pray right now. Amen and amen. All right, friends. Uh, stuttering through it, but I'm going to get through it. <laughs> I, I get so excited. I can't process my words fast enough. So uh, <laughs> it's never surprising. It's nothing shocks me or surprises me here. Uh, for sure. So, yes, uh, we're here. I'm here uh, for service. Again, updated the, uh, you know, the Instagram, the TikTok, all that stuff uh, with just little messages. Rizzle TV. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Wisdom again. So it's busy, friends. I, I got me a busy schedule here and a very ambitious schedule. But I know, uh, as I always question God about it. Are you sure I can handle the basement job? Yes, yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it already. You've been doing this anyway. Right? <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see. Well, we we gotta get coffee, uh, friends. It's, like I said, I I rewashed everything, had a little puppy yesterday, and uh was kind of watching it and he, I didn't see any got his face in my got his face in my coffee cup but it's all good now and he's okay there's just a little bit in there so and i noticed by the way uh yesterday's broadcast the beginning uh where i had the uh email address in it it uh, was a typo i forgot to take that out or readjust it because it had network in it. It's not network. It's Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. That is the official email for the ministry channel. Um, I didn't <laughs> I didn't realize it was there until after I saw, uh, and that was last night's podcast. So, by the way, if you guys happen to see that, and it's posted out already, it's available 24-7 and all that. Uh, but I didn't take out that network part. Um, it, so the email isn't network. There's no network in that. Uh, that's the name of the ministry. Uh, but it is at Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network is where you're at right now. Amen. <laughs> so there you go. Just wanted to clear that up a little bit because um, you're not going to find anybody there on that address, so or email address anyway. So um, let's see, ABC, right? <laughs> I don't know. Come on in, settle down. Let's get to it, friends, brethren and sister, and you're here. Let's get to it. It is a Monday night. Why not? Let's get some church. Uh, amen. Let me rearrange the pulpit and my uh, Bible here. Now, we're going to read a lot tonight. I got a lot for you, as I always do. Uh, friends, we are going to look at, now, our opening scripture. Uh, we're going to get into Matthew chapter 23. Because you know there's going to be weeping and gnashing of the teeth as we read on. And, and I preach on here. Amen, friends. Open your Bible. Settle in. Whew. Boy, oh boy, I tell you. Let's get to it, friends. Uh, then spake Jesus to the multitudes and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that uh, observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say, and do not. For they bind heavy burdens, and grievous, are grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. 
but all their works they do for to be seen of man. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. Uh huh. But he says in verse 8 Be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. Uh, hang on here, friends. I had a channel pop up on me. Let me make sure that's uh, amen. All right, so I'm watching Twitch TV. I got monitors on Twitch TV right now. All right, let's uh, readjust that as my assignment continues. Uh, hey, man, I'm recording in the channel so you guys know the whole story about that. Uh, I have a mixer running into channel three, and I've got uh, two different recording systems going on right now uh, as I am live on, Sp uh, what is it, uh, Spreaker, and I'm also live on an audio channel as well at Pod uh, Podbean. So, <laughs> recording all over the place here. Um, so, anyway, let's get going. Let's get to it. Uh, we got, where are we at here? Uh, da, da, da. Um, all right, so let me retrack here for a second. Let's go to eight. Why not? It's right there. Be not ye called rabbi. For one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven, and neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. Uh, he says in verse 11, But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. And, and we've got to remember that lest we forget, right? Uh, but woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither that suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, uh, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make uh, make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more than the child of hell than yourselves. All right, let's go to 16. Woe unto you, go are ye blind guides, which say whatsoever, whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ah, ye fools and blind, for whatever is greater, the gold of the temple that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing, but whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, uh, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whatever is greater the gift, or the altar that sanctifieth the gift, whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all things thereon, and whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth thereon. And he that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise in coming, and have omitted the weightier uh, matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. 
Ye blind guides which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of uh, extortion and excess. And, of course, I dropped my note or my um, bookmark, but, hey, that's all right. Uh, we'll, we'll be okay here. Uh, all right, don't forget Getter and Rumble. I'm on both channels now and uh, back on Podbean and Podbine and Verbal. So there you go. Lots of channels uh, wherever you listen to your podcast, friends. That's where I, I, carry, the, <laughs> I carry the message. Anyway, let's go to 26. Now, thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first. Cleanse first that which is in within the cup and platter and outside of them may be clean also. Now, he says again in verse 27, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Uh, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead man's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Let me check something here real quick here. Oh, mercy, what a day, what a day, what a day, my friends. It has been a busy, hectic day. Did a few yards today and actually got out there and mowed the yard. It was fun and uh, definitely needed, uh, friends. So uh, be working uh, working a lot here <laughs> trying to get caught up for the winter. Uh, again, supposed to get some snow this weekend, so I'm bundling up. Uh, amen. All right, there we are on the main page again on YouTube. You guys can check that out. Appreciate your support there. And uh, again, I appreciate uh, you guys jumping on the channel here. So let's go to it. We've got Twitch TV all dialed in. We are good there. Uh, amen. So if you guys are watching the Twitch community there, or not Twitch, well, both both Twitch too. Uh, if you're watching um, the uh you know, the YouTube algorithm and things are changing over there, um, which is pretty nice. Actually, uh, you know, they've been putting a lot of my, my podcasts on the main entrance there. So what a blessing. Just what a blessing. I can't uh, describe it anymore, but just what a blessing. All right. And thank you, Lord, for the increase. I uh, truly appreciate that. All right, so let's continue. We are at about Matthew 27 again. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchers, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but uh, are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchers of the righteous. And say, if ye or we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Uh, wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves, that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How could ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city, that upon you come all the righteous bloodshed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, or Zacharias, son of Berechias, whom he slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, uh, what did he say unto us? He says, all these things shall come, Upon this 
generation. There you go. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them, which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings? Uh, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth till ye say, uh, or shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And there you go. Amen. Boy, what a first uh, book or chapter opener that is. How awesome is that? Uh, lots in there for you, friends. I hope uh, hope you were taking some notes. All right, let's get the handy-dandy clipboard and move along. Uh, amen. All right. Oh, we got some good ones. We got some good ones, friends. Let's see. I think I'm going to put that back on the clipboard because my desk is fold up. Filled up. Fold up. Is that a word? I don't know. Let's look at the next one. Lots for you. Lots of reading, friends, for sure. Uh, amen. So what are we going to do? Where are we going? That's what I want to know, church. Uh, amen. One of my favorites. Um, well, I got a lots of them. Let me get a clip uh, bookmark here. If I can reach it. First John, first, second, and third John, friends. Uh, we're going to dig in. Like I said, settle in. Uh, we're having church. You are here. I'm here. All right, friends. How about we go into 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. Let's uh, let's go ahead and read that, friends. Amen and amen. I know there's something in there I wanted to uh, share. Um, actually, we're going to kind of backtrack, friends. Let's go to 2nd uh, Peter chapter 3, since we're kind of right there in the area. Now, I just got a shift in the spirit, so let's go to 3. And let's read that one because we we're we could tell we're in the end times we're in the end days here, and and we gotta uh, we gotta just hold on and and just keep praying and, and dig in here. So let me share this with you, friends. Second Peter chapter three. Let's go ahead. Uh, I think that's where I wanted to go. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's make some adjustments, and we're set. All right. Uh, Second Peter chapter three. Let's read it. Now, the second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be uh, mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, as we are. Uh, you know, uh, disciples and uh, <laughs> were apostles and disciples and followers of Christ, right? Uh, amen. So, of, of course, of the Lord and Savior. So, let's get to the next one. Now, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days, as we clearly see, scoffers uh, walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? All right. Um, let's see. Uh, walking, again, walking after their own lusts and saying, of course, in verse uh, four, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they are from the beginning of the creation. For this, they willingly are ignorant of it they're ignorant of it uh that by the word of god the heavens were of old and earth standing out of the water and in the water whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished and we know of course that is uh noah genesis there all right um let's see so let's go to seven but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved into fire against the day of judgment and uh, perdition of ungodly men. Amen. The 
couple of notes here real quick. And, of course, that doesn't help. But uh, let's see if I can get the rest of this here real quick. All right. And there you go. I'll worry about that later. Let's go to the next one. Verse 8 here, friends, in Second Peter uh, chapter 3. Now, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is his one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men counted slackness, but he is long suffering to us word, not willingly or not willing that any should perish, that all should come to repentance. And there's a key for you right there, friends. All come to repentance. And again, we're live on Restream TV. Like I said, trying to get to the schedule. Uh, friends, trying to stick to that, uh, you know, that commitment there. Uh, and bring you guys constant content on the air, friends. Some church service every night. Well, at least close as I can get, right? All right. So as he was saying here uh, in verse, I believe, 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, friends. And we got to be ready, right? Uh, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein be burned up, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye uh, to be in the holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting under the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being in the fire on, on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, uh, look for new heavens, as I always read in Revelation, uh, and a new earth, wherein dwelleth uh, righteousness. And, of course, i got to fix that part. Uh, all right. So, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, as we saw, uh, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, uh, which they that are learned and unstable rest, uh, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, uh, fall, as he says here, fall from your own steadfastness, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to him be glory both now and forever amen put that on a sticky note put that on your fridge or wherever you whenever you wake up then you can look at that as he says but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ friends right there to him be glory both now and forever and I got to get a big amen on that one for sure. All right. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> First, second, third John. Let's go to it, church. Amen. My brethren and sister. Hope you're having a, well, hope you had a great Monday. <laughs> I know, really. But I do. I hope you had a great Monday. And, uh, you know, uh, speaking into being, speaking in the atmosphere. 
uh, friends, uh, as you wake up, uh, go and say, I will have a great day. Positive, right? All right. Well, you know, we can't let the devil get in there and put his two cents in there. We've got to kick him to the back of the line and say, yo, get out my grill, son. Get way behind me. You take your minions with you, too. And that that ugh, coffee you got, whatever you call coffee, take that back with you, too, because we've got no time for you, friends. I tell you, speak it in the air. Use the authority that you already got, friends. And don't let them fool you and say, ah, you got no authority. Yes, you do. You do. <laughs> I'm just saying, put your armor on, too, by the way. You know, suit up and boot up. Which we will get to here in a bit. All right, take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You got it, friends. You're going to be okay. <laughs> Amen. All right, let's get to the scriptures, as I always like to do and share the word with you here. Uh, let's go to 1 John. Now, we're going to go through 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John here, uh, and then I'll go ahead and get into the podcast notes here in this first hour. Again, friends, welcome. You're live on the air, Restream TV, Pastor Rick Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, broadcasting the precious word of God. 24-7, blasting it out, all over on all the channels. You know where you're at, friends. I appreciate you being here, uh, taking the time out to watch some crazy guy preach on YouTube or, you know, all the other channels as well. Come on, friends. Let's go ahead and read some Bible scriptures together here. Now, First John, again, friends, let's go to First John chapter 1. That which was from the beginning... Which we have heard, which you have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon in our hands, have handled it, or handled of the word of life. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and shew unto you the eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested unto us. As we go on to verse 3. That which we have seen and heard before, or declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things write we unto you, that your joy may be full. Ah, uh, then this is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Uh, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, friends, uh, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we de uh, deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, church, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Uh, chapter 2. Friends, I know I got a word for somebody out there. Somebody, I got a word for you. Amen. Let's go on to chapter 2. My little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Right? Amen. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. 
Ah, but whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which we ye had had from the beginning. Uh, the old commandment is the word which ye have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment. Uh, I write unto you which thing is true uh, in him and in you. Because the darkness is past. Right? Wait, what did he say? Uh, because the darkness is past. And the true light uh, is now shineth or shining. I believe that shineth. Uh, <laughs> my notes here are, are all over the place. Uh, he that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother, friends, abideth in the light. And there is none occasion of the stumbling in, of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness and knoweth not whither he goeth because the darkness hath blinded his eyes. Whew. Wow. All right. I got to turn that light off. Um, unfortunately, that is bright. All right. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven for you, or forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because you have not, uh, or have known, from that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Again, this is a clear message for us, friends, that we have to be careful and watch here. As he says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world... Uh, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world, as he says. Be ye separate. I know people get it twisted and argue with it. Well, we're in the world. We got to do. No, you don't. You don't got to do that. You don't got to. Oh, you know the whole thing. <sighs> don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> I'll I'll let loose here uh, on the devil. So don't let him fool you, friends. Uh, you don't have to do that, and uh, you got to separate yourself out. As he said, clearly tells us, be separate. I'm just saying, read your Bible. All right, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye heard, have heard, the Antichrist shall come. Even now are, the, the, are there many uh, antichrists, whereby ye know that is the, it is the last times. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out, and they might be made manifest, uh, and they were not all of us. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist, and that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son in the same hath not the Father, but he that acknowledges 
uh, if the Son hath the Father also. Amen, right? All right. And I know that microphone always gives me problems. But as he says in 24, let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye shall also uh, or also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise he had promised us, even eternal life. And these things I have written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and uh, ye need not that any man teach you. Uh, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Uh, and now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence, right? And not be ashamed before at his coming. All right. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. There you go, friends. I know I got to keep adjusting my glasses. It's always something here, friends. Always got to uh, got to be something here. I'm gonna move my phone around. That light was just really, really bright. Um, as usual, there it is. I'll just put it down on the ground there. Ah, <laughs> uh, mercy, friends. So, uh, anyway. Uh, let's go to three, right? Uh, let's go to three as we are reading first, second, third John here tonight on this Monday night broadcast. Friends, I always appreciate you guys dropping by the house here. All right, in Studio A, live in the cold, my friends. That's right, I'm still here. Amen. All right, behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore. Uh, as he says, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. And beloved, now are we the sons of God, and doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is, and every man that hath this hope in him uh, purify himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. Whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. And, uh, let's see, boy, did that mess up. Uh, as we are in verse 6, chapter 3, in the book of First John here tonight. Uh, Whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither known him. Oh, little children, let no man deceive you. And he that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that committeth sin is the devil, or is of the devil. Uh, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness, is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. Wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother righteous. Uh, or brothers righteous. Uh, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. 
We know that we have passed from death into life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death, and whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Uh, hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Amen. Right, 17. But whoso has this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shut up his bowls or shutteth up his bowls of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him, right? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. And beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And whosoever we ask, we receive him of him, because we keep his commandments and do these things that are pleasing in his sight. Friends, there you go. And at this his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he hath given us. Friends, I told you, use your authority. Come on now. All right, chapter 4 in the book of 1 John here, friends. Let's keep going. Now, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world uh let's see he says again because many false prophets are gone out into the world hereby know ye the spirit of god every spirit that confesseth that jesus christ is come in the flesh is of god and every spirit that confesseth not that jesus christ is come in the flesh is not of god and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already it uh, is it in the world. Ye are of God, children. Right? Church. Little children. Right? Ye are of God, and have overcome them, because greater is he. Now remember this. Write this on your wall there. First uh, John chapter 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them because, watch this, uh, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen, friends. Good to see you. Glad you're watching. Appreciate y'all. Hope you're doing well. Uh, they are of the world, therefore. Speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Friends. We are of God, church. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. And hereby know that we, or we, the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And every one that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Amen. He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. Oh, uh, let's go to nine here. Verse nine. In this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Oh, here in his love, as he says in verse 10, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, this, this gets me choked up every time. If God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. 
No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Boy, I tell you, if that don't move you in the spirit, I don't know what else will. Wow. Wow. I got to compose myself. Got a little carried away in the spirit there. <laughs> Amen. All right. As we go on to 13. Oh, hereby know we that we, uh, let's see, that we dwell in him and he in us because he hath given us of his spirit, right? And we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world. Now, whosoever, watch this now, friends, in verse 15, whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. And we know and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Uh, Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness, friends. Boldness, I say again, (laughs) amen, in the day of judgment, because he is, or as he is, so are we in this world. As I told the devil this morning, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us, right? Come on now. If a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? I'm just saying. All right. Now, 21. And this commandment have we from him. That he who loveth God loveth his brother also. All right. Let's scoot on down to chapter 5 here, friends, as we are reading our Bibles, right? On this Monday night, I know it's a little after 11, uh, what is it? Uh, A little after 1140 on your dial, friends. You tuned in to the word of God as I'm just a voice crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the pass for our Lord and Savior. All right, let me compose myself again. I'm getting loose in the spirit here. Chapter 5 in, again, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John here, friends. We're reading a uh, triple shot, right? Let's do it. All right, whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this, we know that we love the children of God when we love God to keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Amen. All right, now, and this is the victory. I'm saying it right now. We got the victory, friends, uh, that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God, right? Oh, this is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood, and it is the Spirit that beareth witness because the Spirit is truth. For there are three that, uh, what is it, uh, where is it at here, verse, uh, verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. And he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in him. And he that believeth not God 
hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son, friends. And there you go. All right. Um, are you still here, friends? Are you still with me? All right. Uh, let's read the uh, continue here 12 uh, verse 12 he that hath the son hath life and he that hath not the son of God hath not life these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the son of God and that ye may know that uh, ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the son of God and this is the confidence that we have in him And if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the uh, petitions that we have desired of him. If any man see his brother sin a sin, which is not unto death, he shall ask, and he shall give him life for them that sin not unto death. There is a sin unto death. I do not say that he shall pray for it. Uh, 17, all unrighteousness is sin. And there is a sin not unto death. And we know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not. But he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God has come and hath given us an understanding that we know him, that is true, and we are in him, that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. And there you go, friends. Oh, already approaching that one hour, friends. Wow, where did the time go? I got kind of lost in the the groove there, friends, preaching the word of God on this Monday night. How how awesome uh hallelujah now little children keep yourself from idle amen all right so yeah hey you're in your first hour you're here friends monday night the 14th uh trying to get on just a little bit earlier i had to push everything back an hour instead of 11 30 uh i don't like doing that sometimes i have to now last week we had uh to readjust everything um push it you know about 11 30 or so didn't uh, wasn't trying to do that on purpose. It just we got I got caught up in some things and had to take care of business there and uh, didn't get a chance to go on uh, you know at ten thirty at my usual time. So Monday to Sunday ten thirty or Monday to Friday right? Uh, Monday to Friday Saturday ten thirty Sunday. I'm gonna try it again this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Um, at um, eleven thirty, we'll like I said I'm. I'll readjust. If I don't make it at the 1130 on Sunday mornings, I'll readjust and we'll do it uh, later in the afternoon or something. Uh, Amen. So, uh, yeah, new schedule. Like I said, kind of revamping the the regular schedule. I always have Monday to Sunday. Uh, I try to get on here as uh, often as I can. 1030 is the start time usually. And then Sunday mornings, 1130. If that doesn't work, then I'll try to reschedule it for 1030. Uh, at night, and then I also got Sunday uh, audio podcast that I'm just going to do on the audio channel. So I uh, try to double it up on the Sundays, trying to, you know, try to get that message out there as often as I can, as much as I can. Um, you know, it's just trying to keep up on the scheduling here, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's not a problem, but it, it's full time. So, um you know, as I'm trying to get everything done outside, get all our outside uh, activities taken care of, um, you know, as the schedule goes. So anyway, there you go. You've been informed. You are in the know here, friends. Uh, a little bit of shout out for you, uh, family and friends, of course, Pastor Ina over at the Soma Numia Padilla, a blessed life on right here at YouTube. Uh, of course, uh, everybody over at Christian Watchers of the Heavenly Signs on Facebook, Brother Mark, you guys know. 
And what do we got? Uh, my sister in Christ there, Wilma Bills, right here at YouTube. And, of course, my sons on uh, YouTube here. Of course, uh, with my youngest there, XP1. And, of course, Anthony Rowley there, uh, hanging out on YouTube. Got his little thing going on. That's pretty cool. And my middle kid as well, uh, Bren. So, check that out, Brandon there. And, of course, we got Raised by Wolves, but not really. My little sister Jane Doe on the radio at... Spotify. So there you go. A little bit of shout out to some family and friends. Uh, you know, doing their thing. Just kind of different adventure. Not like mine, but just doing their thing. And, uh, you know, the church groups, of course, do, you know, preaching that word, sharing that message. That's what we need to do um, as uh, we are called to minister to the word or for the word. Amen. All right. We've got channels closing off here. Yeah, let's get that one going. Uh, Anchor, cast box, tin can. And, of course, I'm having problems on this one. It does not want to work. Wow. Uh, it shut down. Uh, I lo <laughs> Again. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. All right, well, um, I'll have to work on that in a little bit here. Uh, amen. All right. Well, anyway, you're at your hour. Welcome, friends. You are here, and we are in first, second, third John for the church service this or tonight. Uh, I'm your host, Pastor Rick. Uh, welcome, friends. Again, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Good to see you guys. I appreciate you being here as we are uh, going into our second hour hour here friends you're live on the air boy i appreciate you guys watching and hanging out for a little bit here tuning in to the word we are in first second and third john we just finished up first john so now we are going to go into second and third john here so as i am finishing up recording on anchor cast box friends check it out Second epistle of John, friends, let's read it together here. I hope you got your Bibles with you on this Monday night, the 14th, live in Studio A here, friends. Appreciate you. All right, the elder under the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth, for the truth's sake, which dwelleth in us and uh, shall be with us forever grace friends grace be with you mercy and peace from god the father and from the lord jesus christ the son of the father in truth and love i rejoiced greatly uh, that i found of the children or thy children walking in truth as we have received a commandment from the father and now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment, right? Um, where is it at? Unto thee, but that they which uh, which we laid or had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. And this is the commandment, that as ye have heard from the beginning, we should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves that we loose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward, friends, uh, as we are here. Let me pull up the monitors. I got to jump on over for a second. Uh, check out our LinkedIn channel and, of course, with um, YouTube. So, welcome, guys. Uh, All righty. Uh, <laughs> let's go on and continue here. Now, um, let's see. Let's backtrack just a little bit here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. And seven again. For many deceivers are entered into the world to confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. And this is a deceiver, anti antichrist, or anti antichrist. Look to yourselves that we lose not these things which ye have, we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ 
hath not God, and he that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, and neither bid him God speed. For he that bideth him, God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Having many things to write unto you, I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you and speak face to face, that our joy may be full. The children of thy elect sister greet thee. Amen and amen. Boy, is that awesome. All right, let's pull up this monitor here uh, real quick. Kind of battling the lights here, so I'm going to have to figure something out because um, there's something going on with that. Obviously, it's a little bit brighter here. Because um, I'm in the light, my friends. That's right, I'm in the lights. And you are too, by the way. You're in the light. Amen. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. Where am I after? Uh, bu- bu- bu. I'll pull up that monitor here on the, the tablet. Make sure I'm golden good, right? Or good good and golden. All right. Uh, squared up, ready to go, friends. How about uh, Third John, friends? The Epistle of John the Third. there, my brothers and sisters. Now the elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee. Even as thou walkest in the truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And, beloved, thou doest faithfully uh, whatsoever that doest uh, to the brethren and to strangers which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom if thou bring forward in their journey after a godly sort, uh, thou shalt do well, because that for his name's sake they went forth, uh, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such, that we might be fellow helpers to the truth, uh, I wrote into the church, but uh, Deotrephus, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receive us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds, which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, uh, and not content thereof or therewith, and neither doth he himself receive the brethren and forbiddeth them that would, and cast, uh, casteth them out of the church. And, beloved, follow not that which is in evil, or which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, uh, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. And Demetrius hath good report of all men, and the truth itself, yea, Ah, we also bear record, and ye know that our record is true. I have many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee. But I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee. Our friends salute thee, greet the uh, friends by name. Love that scripture. Boy, is that awesome. All right, let's go ahead and go on over. Before I get into the next uh, scripture there, friends, I want to pull up our podcast notes. So do that, if you will. And, uh, you know, we're going to go into a lot here, like I said. Uh, all right, so we just finished up first, second, third, uh, what is it, John. And we got a couple more. So we'll kind of see uh, as we play it by ear. And like I said, I, I kind of timed this out with Block Talk Radio. They gave us about an hour and 45 minutes there, where I get I get an hour and 45 minutes uh, there. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's good. So that's uh, plenty of good timing there for uh, church service here. So uh, that's, again, that's kind of where I, I time, uh, I time the, uh, the, you know, the kind of frame it around the timing uh, with, Blockhawk Radio. So, 
and, and I know last night, boy, I went over two hours and 45 minutes. So that's a long, but, you know, I had so much to share. And we went over uh, the communion scriptures in the Bible. And I thought that was really important. A really uh, a major message that I wanted to share out with you. Because I've, you know, like I shared the story. I had pastors before saying, I'm not worthy to do it. You're not worthy to do it. You can't do it. You're not, you're not qualified. Well, of course, that's going to hurt your feelings and you're going to get, you know, kind of upset about it. Um, <laughs> but then I realized they're, they're wrong. They're liars. That's from the devil. You know, they're, they're speaking for the devil. They're, they're, the devil loves their ministry. The devil loves their church. Uh, you know, and anybody that speaks that and talks like that, well, the devil loves you. You're, you're fine. You're right in the company of the devil. You try to put down other people's uh, ministry, you know, and then you say you're not qualified. Well, no, we are qualified by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are qualified to do the communion. Don't let any, don't let anybody tell you, friends, that you're not qualified uh, because that's not true. You are qualified. Just uh, get some crackers, get some juice there. Uh, read those scriptures. First Corinthians, uh, I believe, chapter 11. We got John chapter uh, 6. Uh, there's uh, so many, friends. I, I listed them out, um, and, and I that's why we spent so much time on that uh, message, because I really felt in my spirit that I really wanted to share that out, that it was majorly important. So we went over 1 Corinthians chapter 11, uh, John chapter 6, uh, Matthew 25 and 26, Acts 2. Uh, and I believe Isaiah. So we just covered a couple of them uh, as well tonight. Uh, now going into Monday mo- or Tuesday morning, right? Um, so that makes me so angry sometimes. I think about that, and it's like hey, I try to say that you know. And like I said, I, I haven't done communion for a, quite a while, and I really felt in spirit that I needed to do that to you know just to get a, a refreshing. Uh, so I hope that helped. I hope you guys got that, and I hope you uh, know now that you are okay, that you are okay, you are qualified, and it is okay for you to do the communion. I know, I got so many hate emails from that. Uh, boy, oh boy, I tell you, friends, the hate of the enemy, the hate of the devil is, is strong, and we got to counter that, not by fear but by faith in uh, in God. So I'm just saying, I'm laying it out for you here on the table, friends. Unpack that and pray over it. And uh, just remember, you are loved, you are qualified, uh, and don't, don't let anybody try to fool you or deceive you like that. All I'm saying, <laughs> don't get me started, friends. I tell you, don't get me started. I'll be burning up here. All right, let's readjust, move on over to the next part, friends. We're going to do our uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Get a hold of me, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast uh, at yahoo.com, not network at yahoo.com. That is That doesn't work. I was a typo on last night's podcast here, friends. All right, a little after midnight, uh, friends. We are burning the midnight oil here in church. Uh, like I said, Tuesday morning, a little after midnight, you're here live on the air, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, friends, Studio A, let's get to it. Now, dear God, I know that I am a sinner, and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins, cleanse me of my past, make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross And we're going to make that personal, friends. He died on the cross for me. (sighs) Amen. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. And at this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Ah, to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Unmerited, unearned, and undeserved, friends. It is a gift of God. It is a free gift of God as he has given to us. 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, I pray, friends, brethren, and sisters, I pray, I pray, I pray. Amen. All right, we're going to move on over to the serenity prayers. I, you know, I like to share out the love here. Uh, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time and enjoying one moment at a time. Accepting hardships as a pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. And trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. Then I'd be reasonably happy in this life. And supremely happy with him forever in the next. As we talked about new the new Jerusalem the new kingdom uh, from heaven. Amen. All right, the Lord's Prayer. Now, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oh, church, come on. You know what time it is, my brothers and sisters, family, friends. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And amen, just because we can and we will. And we'll do it again. Amen. All right, there you go. Ah, uh, you know what time it is. Here we go. Uh-oh. We know what time it is, friends. Boot up and suit up. Put your armor on. Grab, uh, if you will, go to your Bibles, Ephesians 6. 10 through 20. Let's go ahead and read that together, friends. And when you get there, oh, give me a shout out, friends. Give me a big amen. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. I'm saying, there you go. All right. Finally, my brethren and sisters, he tells us again, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God and that ye may be able to withstand uh, in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, friends. Amen. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly uh, thereunto with all. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. Oh, yeah, no, no, we skipped to 19. Never mind. Uh, go to 19. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that, that their enemy speak boldly, as I ought to speak. I'm just saying, put your armor on. Thank God. When you get up, put your feet on the ground, and thank God. Give him all the glory, friends. Amen and amen. All right, uh, we're going to go back to, let me get my clipboard. Bo, 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 ba, da, bo, bo. Where is that at? Uh, okay, I got it. I got it, my friends. I got it. Amen. Uh, I think I got it. Maybe. Maybe could have? Uh, I think so, friends. Uh, I'll give you the, let's see. Where am I going to go here? I hope you're doing well, my friends. It is late. Like I said, a lot after midnight here, Pacific Standard Time in the studio. Uh, my usual early morning, late night Bible study podcast here. Uh, and did I, let's see. 
I don't think I wrote the right one down. We want... Uh, hang on here, friends. A little pause in the action here. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Ba 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 bump. I wrote the wrong page down. As usual, as, as usual here. Uh, amen. Let me take that out so I know where I'm at. Uh, give me a second here, friends. I wrote the wrong page down. Uh, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -bum. I know I need a clock countdown or something like that. Um, ba -do 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 -do. All right. Um, let's see. Where did I say we were going here? Give me a second. Let me pull this back up. Uh, man. Um, it'll be worth the wait. Trust me. It'll be worth the wait, friends. Um, <laughs> let me get it. I wrote the wrong book down, a wrong page down because I'm in a different Bible. Um, and, uh, well, that's, that's not so good. Um, but, uh, we're going to get to it here. So bear with me, my friends. That's right. Hold that thought. There we go. In the know, moving on forward, friends, and we've got, oh, we're going to do a favorite here, friends. Uh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. 960 and 961. All right. That's the pages. So don't call that number. It's it's not a phone number. It's a page. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Let's get to it, friends. We're going to go back. Now, I heard a lot of pastors talk about this and share this. Uh, it, but it's important that we hear this again. We are going to go all the way back to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, friends. And we're going to read all the way through uh, to 22. So as we see things uh, changing here in our world, uh, well, I, I don't know how you phrase that, but uh, as we are in, uh, you know, in the, in the, the heavens, right, or, you know, the, the God's world here, um, as that probably sounded wrong, but it's, you know, what I'm talking about here, friends, uh, we're in this world, but we belong to the kingdom of heaven, that's my point, that's what I was trying to say, um, we got to go over this, we, we got to go over this, friends, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, now, let's uh, pull the notes up here. Let's pull our Bibles up here. Let's just think about this, friends. Let's just think about this for a little bit here. Put this together um, as uh, as we read the precious word uh, here, words, uh, friends. Uh, and again, just think about this uh, and uh, let this kind of marinate in your, in your heart, in your mind, uh, in your soul there. Um, again, let me... Take care of a couple of quick notes. And let's see. I want to make sure I get all of this. I just didn't get a chance to get this done here. So bear with me, guys. Just give me a second here. <coughs> and then, all right. A little pause in the action. But it's worth the wait, friends. Now, again, we are going to go over uh, Ecclesiastes here, chapter 3. <coughs> oh, amen. All right. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. I'm just saying. And I need another bookmark. Man, I can't believe that. Uh, all right. So. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Ecclesiastes 3 here for us. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A uh, time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. 
A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen the travail which God hath given to the sons of men uh, to be exercised in it. He that hath made everything beautiful in his time uh, has uh, also he hath set the world in their heart, so that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. I know that there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of his labor. And it is, as he says, it is the gift of God. Again, friends, we're in Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Uh, I know that whatsoever God uh, doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it. Uh, that men should fear before him. That which has seen or hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and God requireth that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity, was there. I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked. There is time for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart, concerning the estate of the sons of men, that God might manifest them and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts, e every one or even one thing befalleth them. As the one dieth, so dieth uh, the other, yea. They have all one breath, so that a man hath no preeminence above a beast, for all is vanity. All go unto one place, all are from the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of a man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth? Wherefore I perceived that there is nothing better than that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that is portion for who shall bring him to see what shall be after him. What a great scripture, friends. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I just kind of been on my heart and uh, really wanted to share that as we kind of, rem you know, kind of remembrance here on that scripture. Um, you know, it's just everything, all this chaos, all this voting issues going on which I'm not going to get into because I don't talk about the world. I talk about the Bible here. Uh, and I there's plenty of channels that do discuss that. Uh, but, uh, you know, as as I you guys know, it's just to try to get the, the uh, speak on the Bible here. So I'm just saying Ecclesiastes 3, what a great scripture uh, as we go over that. So there you go, friends. I just wanted to share that out with you. Um, all right, let's see, uh, let's, where am I going? What am I doing? Do I know what I am even doing? Um, I, I think I have a clue. Amen. All right, well, check it out. Now, I went back into my archive, so we're going to take just a little bit of a break here. Um, and I'll give you the scriptures, friends, I'll throw these scriptures out at you. What repentance from sin should look like. So, I know, and I'm not going to go too much uh, into it, um, but uh, I'll go some basics here. 
Now, the watered-down gospel of Christ only looks at the fruit of sin. And so the plea is for people to acknowledge that Jesus paid the penalty for our sins and to ask him to please forgive our sins. So it says in the notes, as I took them, uh, the popular approach is sins forgiven, heaven gained, and hell avoided, right? So, and uh, give me a second here. I forgot to do this. Uh, That always helps. And I have to go back over this and get all the scriptures together and everything. So let's go on to the second part. Again, the main topic, the main part of this is what repentance from sin should look like. So we just went over that. Now go. let's go to the second part here. But when people never repent of their sin, that is the root of sin. The true essence of sin is rooted in pride, which usurps God's authority. Uh, grass after equality with God and exercises dominion or control over your own life apart from any consideration of God or his kingdom authority or his perfect will and establishes the kingdom of I myself and me right within the human heart now man's spirit is dead cut off from the God kind of life that only God himself can provide through faith in Jesus Christ here friends Uh, Now, man lives life out from the soul, corrupted by the power of sin, influenced by the world, the flesh, and the devil. The only remedy is to come to God on his terms of covenants or surrender and obedience as the key right there, friends. Um, Repent of sin and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And, of course, we know to believe means to commit and to entrust, right? All right. Uh, My friends on Twitter, tweeting. (laughs) Get on Twitter, friends. I'm live over there right now. Uh, All right. So, three. Uh, As we just did this, friends, but we're going to do it again. Uh, Let's look at it again here, friends. Uh, What repentance from sin should look at. Now, Lord. I confess that I am a sinner who sins because I have a sinful human nature and I need Christ as my Lord and Savior. I turn away from exercising control over my own life apart from you, your kingdom authority and your perfect will, and I surrender control of my life to you. I fully commit myself to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And I entrust myself entirely to Christ for my spiritual well-being. Uh, please life me by your Holy Spirit and adopt me into your royal family of true believers and followers of Christ. Amen. Right there. Oh, I tell you, friends, that's good stuff. All right. So, and again, I don't have any of the notes uh, together here for the scriptures. Uh, but this is pretty much laid out. And like I said, I these are kind of some notes I just kind of went back and stumbled on here. Uh, so I will uh, I will have to go and research the scripture. Well, we can do that anyway, but um, we can look at this now. So the first one, uh, friends, we have on the menu here. And let's go. Uh, it's already pretty much written down uh most of the notes and scriptures are are pretty much uh on it already uh because it'll it'll take me a minute to get to it and find it and kind of do the uh, notes here on this uh on it so uh but up boom let's see where i want to go here so bear with me again um, I should know this too. There it is. Um, all right. So we got uh, first scripture here. Uh, it's going to be Romans 6, uh, front. So if you will, go ahead and go on over there to Romans 6. And again, this is already pretty much written down. Um, amen. So bear with me, guys. Uh, 6 and through 23. 
really is where it's uh, let's see it's where it's written at so we got and I'm probably just gonna read a part of it uh, because we don't want to go all the way through it so amen all right so the first scripture again Romans 6 23 now again it says in, in verse 23 here uh, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift of God is God himself enabling you by his overwhelming grace to live the God kind of life. Perpetually, of course. Uh, though uh, through a fixed position of abiding and relational rest in Christ. Uh, by God's word and his spirit, our mind becomes renewed and our good shepherd restores our soul, friends. Now, we live out from the spirit in union life with the Holy Spirit and our soul becomes ready, uh, a ready servant, as he says here in the notes, uh, serve the spirit in carrying out the father's will. So there you go. And that, again, is in Romans, uh, as I am getting the notes together. That is in Romans 6, 23, friends. There you go. All right, and we go to the next one. And that one is over in the book of Psalms. Now, let me see if I can't find another. My, my bookmarks are all scattered all over the place, and I don't have any set spot for them. Uh, but I'll, I guess I'll go back to them again. It's not that big of a deal here. Uh, I wanted to just share that out with you. So, and that one, the first one, like I said, was Romans six twenty three, friends. As we know that scripture well, um, Amen. Let's go to, um, let's see, let's see if I can get these notes together here. And of course, I'm not making it any easier. Um, all right, so we got Psalm eighteen twenty one uh, here, friends. So let's uh, let's see if I can remember where the book of Psalms is at. Uh, amen. So hold on here, friends. Let me get uh, as it test my knowledge of the Bible. Uh, that's nothing unusual, right? All right, so we got. I got to write all these pages down because I didn't get a chance to do it earlier. Um, looks like 901. All right. All right. And. All right. So, Psalm 118, friends. Now, let's go to this next part here. Now, salvation is not the forgiveness of sin. Rather, salvation is a new life found only in the persons of Jesus Christ the Lord. But with this new life in Christ, we also have the forgiveness of sins through Christ's atoning bloodshed on Calvary's cross. And I missed another one there, but that's okay. That one is going to be over in Romans, and that's uh, chapter 5 and verse 10. And I'll, I'll get that together here in a bit. Amen. So that second chapter in Romans is Romans uh, chapter 5. So let's uh, kind of bounce back over to that one and get that page for it. Chapter 5 in the book of Romans, friends. Uh, and uh, I'll probably go back in and read these anyway, uh, just because I want to share them with you here. And let's get that page together. Uh, chapter 510. So there you go on that one. And let me write this down. All right. So as it says, now for if we in, we were enemies, we were reconciled to God to the death of his son, friends. Much more, having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. For you have become my salvation. Again, then we get over to Psalm 118, uh, verse 21. Newness of life in Christ is God's remedy for sin. So there you go. All right, let's get back to that one. And, all right, so, 
Uh, as, the, as the notes say here, friends, uh, again, we're looking at what repentance from sin should look like. Now, as the note, like I said, I simply encourage you to call people uh, to repent of their sin, to surrender control of their life into the loving hands of God, and to fully commit to the Lordship of Christ. Uh, as the note said here, and become generally born again from above by the Holy Spirit. Then we learn to yield to Christ's life and walk in submission to the Holy Spirit. Amen, right? Now, making voluntary adjustments to the Spirit's authority. The Lord set us free from being slaves to the powers of sin and self. Amen. We learn to make moment by moment faith choices that please our Father rather than emotional choices that please myself, I, and me as we take the focus off of that, right? Especially when an emotional choice runs uh, contrary to a faith choice. Now, did you hear that, friends? Uh, Here's the key right here especially when an emotional choice runs contrary to a faith choice. Are we walking by faith and not by sight? Are we walking by sight and not by faith? Are we living in fear because of what's going on with the Joneses or with the, you know, with the world? Are we, are we following what the world is doing? Are we following what God is telling us to do? Are we being obedient in the spirit, friends? <sighs> Too much, friends. It's it's a lot. Uh, as as we just you know we get caught up in the world and just do the things of the world, but proclaim Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That doesn't make sense. So <clears throat> back to this, especially when an emotional choice runs contrary to a faith choice. Now this way we learn to deny ourselves. Take up our cross daily and follow him. Only Jesus, friends, here's the key. You better write this down. Only Jesus can thoroughly conquer the kingdom. Again, as he says in this, me, myself, and I. You're not in the picture. It's God, friends. By the power of his love. Amen. And uh, what do we got? Seven, number seven on the list. Ba, 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 da, boom. And Jesus said, if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. Oh, that's all the way down over in John eight twenty four. And let's see if we can find that. Amen, friends. John 8, 24, John the man, John the brother, John the revelator, John the preacher, speaking the word, my friends. Let's look at John 8, uh, right? Is that what it says? It's that's, is that where it's at? I think that's where it's at. All right, I got it. Uh, amen. Let's write that down so I'll know where to find it next. Right, as I am taking some notes. So I will recap the scriptures here, friends. Give me a second. Let me write all this down. And uh, I'll recap the scriptures for you again for uh, sure here. So let's see. I think that's all the way over there. Wow. And we want to go that way. Oh, John 8, 24, my friend. So let me recap the scriptures for you. Let me recap the title for you. What repentance from sin should look like. That's the subtopic here. Uh, So, first uh, first scripture, uh, what is it? Romans 5.10, Romans 6.23. And, of course, this is going to be one. And uh, we've got this one way up at two here. Uh, Amen. And then we roll on over to Psalm 118, verse 21 for that. And then we go over to John 8, 24. So 
good scriptures, good messages right there, friends. That is always awesome. Um, so let's kind of go back up. I guess uh, I guess we can kind of read those, can't we? Um, let's see. Let's go back over there. It's, nope, too far over. Too far, not enough. Let's uh, let's see what the scripture has to tell us here. Uh, amen. amen. If I could find it in time there. All right. Uh, what do we got on time wise? Uh, boy, oh boy, we're not even at two hours yet. Mercy. All right. Well, let's go to that and let's uh, let's see if we got that. So we're going to go to the first one here, Romans 5, and then Romans 6 here, of course, uh, on the podcast. Uh, Amen. My phone fell asleep. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. You got to wake up. We got some preaching to do, my friends. I do. I do. All right. Uh, And I'll have to find my, um, here it is, if I can get to it, I'll have to find my highlighter. My highlighter from my highlighter, friends. Amen. All right, uh, let's see. My phone fell asleep, so that's not good. Uh, amen. And, of course, get the highlights together here. And that way, I can go back over the notes here, So, which I will. Amen. All right, so the first one, again, the first one we're going to look at is Romans chapter 5, friends. So go ahead and go there, and let's uh, read, I think, Romans 5 and 6, basically. Um, oh, that's why my, uh, my charger dropped out. That's, that's why that didn't work out so well. Um, good thing I wasn't recording on that one. Amen. All right. Give me a second. I got to plug my phone back in. Uh, apparently I pulled the cord out and I didn't know it was even out. Um, that's what happens here, friends. Give me a minute. And let me battle that because I did not know that dropped out. All right, uh, you know, lots of lots of stuff to deal with, lots of electronics here in the studio to try to get this message out to you. All right, Romans 5 and 6, friends. Let's read that and let's see what that says here. We've got a little bit of time to close out uh, as the phone is charging back up again. Let's see if I can get that going. Always a lot. All right, Romans 5 and 6, friends. Let's check that out. Now, therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord uh, Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand, uh, making sure my, my computers are staying on here. And not only so, but we all are we glory in tribulation also, Knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope, friends. There you go, church. Uh, Amen. All right, what do we got going on here? What do we have going on here? We want Twitch to monitor our Twitch channel. Uh, Amen. Hold that thought, friends. Again, we're in Romans 5 and 6 here. All right. Um, Let's go ahead and go in there. Pull the monitor up again. Uh, Apparently, my phone... Uh, the charger popped out of it. I didn't even know it was out. So, um, (sighs) typical, right? Just the typical. All right. So, anyway, we're in Romans 5 and 6. And patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God uh, is shed. And I put that wrong. uh, Is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Amen, right? By, let see, for when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly church. For scarcely for a righteous man, and again, Romans 5 and 6, if you're just hanging out, joining us. Uh, Amen, late night, early morning podcast here. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. 
But God commendeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, uh, we shall be saved from wrath through him, friends, we shall. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, and much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but also, we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, by whom we have now received the atonement. And wherefore, as by one man's sin, and we know that's uh, Adam there in uh, the Garden of Eden, right? We know that way back in the Old Testament there. Uh, wherefore, as by one man's sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, uh, for that all have sinned. And to the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. And nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgressions, who is the figure of them that was to come. And of course, we know that's our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ here, friends. Amen? All right, but not as the offense, uh, so also is the free gift. And that, of course, friends, I hope you have that written down, is grace, of course. Amen. All right. Uh, let's see. For though or through the offense of one, many be dead, and much more the grace of God uh, and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded many. And not as if or as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift, or the judgment was by one to con uh, condemnation. But the free gift is of many offenses and unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace uh, and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Amen, right? All right. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men again unto justification of life. And that's in verse 18 and Romans 5. Now, for as by one man's disobedience, which is, of course, Adam again, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall be made many be made righteous. And, of course, we know, again, is that's uh, Jesus there. Now, moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound, friends. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen, right? All right, let's move on to Romans chapter 6, friends. Amen? We're going to read just a little bit more here. I think we're over two hours here, but I know we were going to be close. Uh, amen. What shall we say then, church? Shall we continue in sin? that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not, friends, know ye not that so many of us as were baptized unto Jesus Christ uh, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that uh, we, or that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. 
For we, or if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen, right? That's good stuff. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. Now, let's go back up here to 7. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Uh, now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. My bookmarks are giving me troubles. Uh, <laughs> man, it's been a battle all night. Every podcast I battle with my bookmark here. Um, no. Uh, let's see, now if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. And knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more, and death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. And likewise reckon ye also yourselves uh, to be dead. Indeed, into sin but alive unto God through Jesus Christ, friends. There you go. Uh, of course, our Lord. Amen. Now, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that we should obey in the lust thereof. And neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God uh, to or as those, boy, oh boy, I can't hardly really read that, uh, that are alive, friends, that are alive, as I roll on over here, uh, what, uh, let's see, alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace, God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves? Uh, let me re finish that. Let me, uh, let me fix the errors there. Uh, that to him ye yield yourselves, servants to obey his servants, ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death, or of obedience unto what does it say? Unto righteousness? But God be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which uh, was delivered to you. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak as uh, I get the note I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members, servants, to uncleanness and uh, to, uh, oh boy, iniquity, I believe that's what that is. There be uh, iniquity and iniquity. Even so, now yield your members, servants, to righteousness unto holiness. For when ye were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye been in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of these things is death, but now being made free from sin and become servants of God, ye have your, uh, have your fruit unto holiness and the end of everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, church. Come on now, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And there's there's that pesky gnat. Man, oh man, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> what a battle. What a battle that be. All right, let's mark that up and let's get that together here. I don't know why that popped out, but anyway, that dropped out here on my notes. All right, so we're recapping some scriptures here, friends. I'm going to close out here in just a just a, dad, a tad bit here, friends. I'm just kind of recapping what repentance 
from sin should look like. Got a handful of scriptures for you. Uh, now, we just went over Romans uh, 5 and 6. So let's go. Let's see. We're going to go way over here. Are we really? Again? That's all right. We can do it. That's not it. What? Oh, 900. Okay. Uh, God has tested me on the scriptures to see if I know where they're at. Because I do. I try to tell people that. I, I really know where the Bible, where the scriptures are at. Uh, I just sometimes can't get to it fast enough. So, bear with me. I got to get the high letter for the high letter, friends. If you're just tuning in, you're live on the air. Amen. And let me highlight my highlights because I didn't do, get a chance to do that earlier. So, if you will, friends, go to your Bibles. Make sure you got them out. We're going to go to Psalm. And that's going to be all the way over in 118. So, bear with me. Let me highlight this uh, so I, I can actually know what I'm doing here. I know it's true. I really do know what I'm doing. I... <laughs> I know my friend in my friend in Japan uh, just teased me about that. He says, "Do you really know what you're doing?" Well, konnichiwa, domarigato, my precious friend in Japan, my sister in Christ. There, how awesome is that? Uh, watching on YouTube, friends, this morning. Well, what what time is it? What be the time in Tokyo? Is what I want to know. Well, it's 5.52 p.m., about 17 hours plus, friends, um, as they are, I believe, ahead of us as I pull my world clock up. And my friends, my mates over in Sydney at 7.52, about that same time. I tell you, friends, that's why I'm glad I got this. <laughs> I got this, uh, you know, this world clock here so I can pull up time on uh, where my friends are at because uh, I, I preach all over the world here. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So uh, my friend is in New York, uh, about 3.52 over there. So they're about three hours, I uh, believe, up from us. Pretty awesome. And, of course, 8.52 over in the uh, glorious city of London. My friend over in London. That is awesome. All right. Well, let's continue, friends. We've got Psalm 118, friends. Uh, we're going to check that out. Uh, amen. Are, are we good? Are we got everything in order? Is is the thing in order here? That's what I want to know. Don't now listen. Don't forget Patreon. Don't forget uh, Discord and Wisdom and Verbal, of course, and Tid Can. I, I boy, sometimes I don't even know how I keep track of everything, but God's got it. So let's continue, uh, my brethren and sister, and here as we are in Psalm one eighteen. Can we read a little bit about psalmist, right? Or psalm? All right, let's uh, look at it here, friends. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, friends, because his mercy endureth forever. Let us all now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me a large place, or in a large place. Correct myself. Ah, uh, the Lord is on my side, church. I will not fear. What can man do? Unto me. I'm just saying. Come on now, friends. Ah, uh, the Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compass me about, yea, they compass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. 
They compassed me about like bees. They were quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall. But the Lord helped me. In case you didn't know, friends. Amen. Ah, the Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doth or doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Now, uh, the Lord hath chastened me or chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go unto them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous uh, shall enter. Now watch this, friends. Uh, as I am behind on my notes here. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refused to become, you know, is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, friends, right there. This is the Lord's doing and is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Now, if you're looking for that, it's in verse 24, Psalm 118. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen, right? Save now, I beseech thee. O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee. Send now uh, prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord which hath shewed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords and uh, even unto the horns of the altar. Now, let me get caught up in that too. I'm trying to get as much as I can. Now, in verse 28 here, Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Friends, we got to say that again, in case you missed it and the sun was in your eyes. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercy endureth forever. Amen. All right. Amen. What a good scripture. That's always awesome. And you guys can kind of, you know, if you want, uh, if you want to research the five book of Psalms, I did a whole series of podcasts on that, uh, the five books. It's in the archives. It was long winded. I went through every verse and every chapter, as I always do here in the broadcast, in the podcast here. Uh, that's what I've been called to do. Just a Bible teacher uh, sharing the word of God. Amen. All right, so yeah, check it out. It's there. You guys can uh, go ahead and read that if you will. Amen. All right. What a uh, what a great uh, scripture, uh, the book of Psalms, or books, actually five books. If you get a chance, friends, go through that and read that out. Uh, amen, amen, amen. All right, let's go ahead and get caught up on a couple of notes here. Not much, like I said. Uh, I'm recapping this. Uh, if you guys are just joining me live on the air, friends, good morning to you. It's about 1 o'clock here uh, in the Studio A here, friends. Now, I'm just kind of recapping a, a message, what repentance from sin should look like. So there's a few scriptures here uh, that are in the notes. We went through Romans 5 and 6. Uh, we just read Psalm 18. 
And uh, I want to go to John eight twenty four, which probably we'll just go ahead and uh, go ahead and read out, uh, and may probably just close out with uh, the book of John there. So let me go back and find it again, cause I just did, and now I got to do it again. Uh, <laughs> amen. Uh, okay. God has tested me on the scriptures. I know that uh, he's he's kind of running me through it to see if I knows where I'm at. And I do. I really do. <laughs> I know my friend keeps texting me. Stop it. I know. I know where I'm at here. Uh, let, let me go a bit back through here again. Um, all right. So, John, like I said, John, uh, the book of John, chapter 8, friends. Let's go ahead and go there. Let's close out the Bible study here. Uh, friends, like I said, I, I appreciate you guys hanging out. And I appreciate you coming on into the studio, having some church service with me this morning. Uh, what a blessing. Thank you guys again for your support. And this is going to, boy, oh boy, is this going to be a lot of work to do. Well, you know, friends, there are, what are we looking at, 59 verses. So uh, let me write this down. And, of course. So, um, are you ready, friends? Let's go ahead and close out with the the book of John here, friends. Um, let's see, make sure that's straightened out, because this is going to be a long one. Um, amen. Let me grab my coffee, and we will continue here again. Kind of last uh, last scripture, but I always like to give you a lot because I just never know when I'm going to be back on. Uh, things are so hectic and so crazy here. I don't. I I just never know. Amen. <clears throat> All right, friends, let's close out with John chapter 8. And Jesus, friends, Jesus, we're talking about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior here, friends. Now, Jesus went in or unto the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning, he came again unto the temple. And all the people came down unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. As we know this story here. Now Moses in the law commanded us, that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou, as they, again, as they were trying to trap Jesus uh, in the, you know, in the, in the wrong answer there. So, let's uh, continue here. Now, this they said, tempting him, that they might have now, or have to accuse him. You know, let me kind of reset this. Sorry about that, friends. You're going to hear... Um, a little bit of rustling. I want to make sure that that microphone is keyed in. Um, as I glued, actually, I glued, <laughs> I super glued, gorilla glued the uh, covering um, over the microphone itself so I wouldn't lose it because it kept falling off. No matter where I put it, it was falling off. So uh, that's what you guys are going to hear. There's a little ridge on there where I can tell exactly where the microphone speaker is at. And I wanted to make sure that that was, uh, re, you know, set where you guys could hear me okay. Uh, amen. So, anyway, we're reading uh, John chapter 8 here, friends. Now, they said, uh, tempting him, and that they might have to have to accuse him, but Jesus stooped down and with his fingers wrote on the ground. Now, we would want to know, we would like to know what Jesus actually wrote in the dust, right? Uh, as though... He heard them not. Maybe he was just like distracted and trying to just uh, ignore, <laughs> ignore him a little bit. <clears throat> so, uh, when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Now, that's pretty profound of friends and very relevant to what we're dealing with and what we see and go through every day uh you know uh, there's a lot of accusers a lot of stuff happening there 
So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone uh, at her. Now, let's go on to the next one. Now, again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And when they had heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And when Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those or thine accusers? Hath no man um, uh, condemned thee? And she said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I, because he had the authority to do that. But he didn't do it, right? Uh, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Oh, man, I tell you, friends, what? how powerful is that? Uh, then spake Jesus again to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. All right, verse 14. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true, for I know whence I came and whither I go. But you cannot tell whence I came and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh, I judge no man. Uh, And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone. But I and the Father uh, that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of the two men is true. And in verse 18, friends, as we continue here. uh, I am the one that bear witness of myself. And the father that sent me beareth uh, witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? And Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. And these words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then Jesus, or said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and you shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, and I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you, That ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, Ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things. Now watch this in verse 26, friends. Let me write this, uh, get all this together here. Um, Like I said, I got behind in my studies here, my prep uh, preparation for this. Uh, message here so he says in verse 26 friends and my boy am i fighting my glasses too but not the headphones the headphones i got new uh, headphones there uh which is really nice so he says in verse 26 i have many things to say uh to judge of you but he that sent me is true and i speak to the world those things which i have heard of him 
They understood not that he spake uh, to them of the Father. Then said unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, that shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. Ah, uh, the Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to the Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, church, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. Then answered him, We be Abram's seed, and we uh, and were never in bondage to any man. Now, he says, How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? And Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ah, uh, ye shall be free in Indeed, friends, that's right, he shall set us free. I know that ye are Abram's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. As we are reading through John 8, we're going to close out here in just a bit. Now I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. The or they answered and said unto him, uh, Abraham is our father, and Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham, right? Or Abraham, amen. All right, now I will uh, continue this after the broadcast here, as I got lots of notes to do. Uh, amen. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, there's a, like I said, this is a, a lot. There's a lot of verses in this scripture, um, as we clearly see, right? Let me get all this down before I get a chance, or while I got a chance here. Uh, amen. All right. Well, like I said, there's a, a lot of prep I didn't do. I didn't get a chance to really go through this much. Um, as I it was kind of recapping some notes here. So bear with me, you guys. Hang on here just a minute. Uh, we're going to close out with the scripture. Um, amen. Boy, oh boy, I tell you. Whew. Wow. All right. Let us proceed. As, uh, let's see. Let me catch this one real quick here. I want to make sure. Um, amen. Let me go through that. Just clear that out a little bit here. Um, so again, we're reading uh, John chapter 8, and we're going through uh, all 59 verses, friends. I want to close out with this, and uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, in verse 40, as we see here, friends, But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, uh, which I have heard of God. This did not uh, Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. And Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, and neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? Why, again, let's see, let's bounce over to 44 here. Ye are of your father, the devil, 
and the lust of your father ye will do. He is a, or was, a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he uh, speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you are, of you convince me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? If or he that is of God heareth God's words, ye therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. Uh, let me go back over that again. 47, friends. Oh, we. He that is of God heareth God's word. Ye heareth them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews, and said unto him, Say we not well that art, uh, art a Samaritan, and hast a devil. And Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And moving on over to 50. I told you, friends, there's a lot of verses in this one. Uh, hang on, I'm battling my bookmarks here, of course. Why not? Uh, amen, I already lost a couple of them here. So let's go to verse 50. Uh, and I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, uh, he will never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham? which is dead, and the prophets are dead, whom makest thou thyself? And Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say uh, that he is your God. Ye have, or yet ye have known, not known him, but I known him, uh, he says, but if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and thou hast seen Abraham? And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of him, and so passed by. I tell you, friends, there is so much to unpack in these scriptures. I am glad and just uh, just ecstatic about being able to share the word here with you, friends. I appreciate your time uh, for sure. Thank you guys for your patience. A uh, lot to cover. Um, so, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um... Let's see, we'll do that. And that, we're going to redo that one for sure. So, um, let me go back over this and kind of correct this out a little bit. Now, I'll probably get to the other one tomorrow, or today actually, uh, as I am going to be reworking the uh, podcast notes. Now, I didn't get to the other ones. I wanted to make sure we got to the, this one mainly first. Um, so, um, uh, let's see, this one is, all right, so, we, somehow we got, we got in here, we threw all this together here, um, so, uh, 
how awesome is that? I never got, but uh, so what I was saying, I got distracted here for a second. What I was saying is, um, tonight's podcast, I'm going to be looking at the Orthodox Study Bible. Um, was the Orthodox Study Bible uh, notes here from uh, the? Uh, oh, what was that? The archive series. So that uh, that's what we're, I'll be doing later on tonight. So. Hey, man, as I work these notes again, friends, uh, you know, like I said, I always appreciate you guys. Uh, I know these are long-winded, but I have just so much to uh, share and so much to give back here. I want to make sure I get all these out to you. So, uh, with that, uh, let me see. Um, let's see. All right. Always give you a lot to unpack there. And... Um, let's see, let's get the notes here. All right. All right, friends, give me a minute. Let me get caught up on this last part of this. Um, and. All right. So there you go. So now I'm. Um, Again, what I'll do is reset this. Um, let's see. And that is C. So, always a lot here. So, uh, give me a second. Kind of winded it down. And I'll be looking at the Orthodox Study Bible, friends, um, as I'm just kind of taking some notes here on the side. Uh, Orthodox Study Bible. Uh, archive series, friends, and I'll put this together. Um, I'll work on this, and uh, as I <laughs> as I kind of get the get the notes here together, but uh, just bear with me, guys, and uh, I'll get this. I'll get just a basic here. Um, amen, friends. So bear with me here. Um, let's see. All right. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Boy, oh boy, I tell you, that's going to be good. All right, the Archive Series coming up tonight, friends. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, like I said, I know these are always like over two hours. Uh, that's just kind of the way things go here. Um, now, we recapped. We went through some scriptures, Matthew chapter 23, uh, first through third John, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And then I went and looked at our archive series, what repentance from sin should look like with uh, some scriptures. And we went through Romans 5 and 6, uh, Psalm 118, and of course, uh, John chapter 20, well, 24 was the main part, but John chapter 8, 1 through 59. So that is your rundown, your recap scriptures there. And, uh, well, I'll be digging into my notes, making sure I got everything together for tonight's podcast. Got a lot more for you. We'll be looking again at the Orthodox Study Bible Archive Series and more, friends. So stick around. Stay tuned tonight at, uh, where are we at? Tonight, which is what, Tuesday? It's Tuesday, November 16th. Uh, we're going to be back over at Melon TV, friends, bringing you uh, some more word here. As I, uh, boy, oh boy, I have to tell you, let me get these notes together. I am losing every all my bookmarks and everything here. Um, I'll be fishing for bookmarks here in a bit, here, as my coffee is uh, re getting my coffee going. Um, all right, Twitch TV, uh, where we got Restream TV, Block Talk Radio. Let me close you out, friends. Good to see you. Good to be here, friends. Always appreciate you guys. Uh, stick around. Like I said, I got more for you. Your live Studio A Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, uh, friends. Pastor Rick, good to see you. Good to be here again. Staying on track as best I can. Working around the construction and working around the outside activity. So trying to get all that together. Uh, friends, Black Eye Radio, uh, Restream TV. See you guys on the next broadcast. Take care, will ya? I appreciate you. Amen. Thank you guys again for your support here. All right. That's it on that one. <laughs> Amen. Black Talk Radio, that's it for you guys. 
And, of course, we go to our friends over at Spreaker Channel 1. Let's get that church on its feet. Amen. Hope everything uh, recorded well. Uh, thank you guys again. Appreciate that. Spreaker Channel 1. I will see you on the next broadcast, friends. Take care. Amen.